What's up everybody, Jimmy and Adam here. So today is a very special day. We're gonna be revealing to you guys this bad boy right here that made us over $140,000 just selling one single product. So pay attention because we're gonna be showing you some things about this product that you can implement today in your stores and then create these six figure products in stores like we did. So in this video today, we're gonna be really quick and short and sweet, but we're gonna tell you exactly how we built this one product store from the ground up. We made a brand new page, a brand new ad account, a brand new, we found a brand new product. We did everything start from scratch. That's exactly what we did. So yeah, there's gonna be a ton of things you're gonna learn here. Ad accounts getting disabled, Facebook pages getting disabled, Facebook crashing, Shopify crashing, AliExpress long deliveries. We're gonna teach you it all right here. So if you're taking any notes, make sure you get a pen and pencil and write down these tips because you'll be able to use them in your stores and learn something here. Yep, he's right. So you know what we've been doing that's different than a lot of people, a lot of these e-commerce gurus will not get back to you. We've noticed that they're big deals, everyone. So you know, they cannot respond. So do us a favor, me and Adam are actually pretty normal guys. Throw some comments down here exactly what you guys want to ask. We respond to every single person. So don't think that you're being left out. If we miss you, let us know. Comment again, but comment below. So we're actually going to reveal this product and this is a product we're still running. So no this, way. Yeah, yeah way. So this is actually big news. You don't see dropshippers online revealing their actual products that they're still running. They might tell you about some old product that you're not even sure if that's what they sold, but we're actually going to reveal this product on our store right now. So if you guys want a lot more videos like this, do me a huge favor, okay? So just go ahead and hit that like button and subscribe to Hell of this channel. Hit that like. If we get to a thousand subscribers, we're gonna be doing another one of these videos. And the moment we've all been waiting for, ba -da -da -ba -da <laughs> here it is, guys. So this iPhone case right here, I'm, you're seeing right here, it says Cam Shield case. So what this thing does right here is for the iPhone 11, the iPhone 11 Pro, and the iPhone 11 Pro Max. And you just slide this little piece right here. I'll even pull it out of the box. It just goes over the camera. That's all it does. So let's take a little quick look at this product right here. Jim's gonna unbox it for you. Now this product was very unique and very eye-catching. And this is why a lot of people, you know, that just got the iPhone 11 with the three cameras, they're gonna really need this product because if anyone with an iPhone knows, it costs hundreds of dollars to repair anything. Oh yeah, absolutely. <laughs> it's a, uh, if you break your iPhone camera, it's apparently like $500, like yeah. your iPhone 11, like minimum. So everyone knew about that. And we realized, they go, I know there's cases out there that will, they'll protect your phone, but yeah. will like, protect your camera as well. Because if you can't protect that, then that's the most important thing on the phone now. Like everyone's on Instagram and stuff, you need to have a good camera. You mess that up, you're screwed. <laughs> so this is exactly how it works. Let me show you. So all you do, really, this is all you do. It's a piece of plastic. That's all it is. Nothing crazy about it. You just pull this thing open and close. I can't even do it. Open and close. This thing right here, just a simple slider that goes over your camera, made us over $140,000, just one iPhone mm -hmm. case. So another great benefit of this product, because this is a specific iPhone user that needs this product. So it's really easy with targeting everyone. You just target everyone with iPhone 11s. And I'll go ahead and put a little screenshot below on exactly how to target specific iPhones. And it was actually crazy the way we found this too. Me and Adam both went to Arizona. We were meeting up with our business partners. So it's honestly absolutely nuts the way we found this product because me and Adam were both like, we should find another product to sell. We should still see if this whole one product thing works. Cause you know, we can practice it, but it's always gonna work at the end. So we decided to just do everything from scratch. All we did was just hop on AliExpress. I was, I, we were in Arizona. I'm sitting in the hotel. I'm just like looking at uh, just recommended products. Exactly what I teach in my actual course with Adam. We actually teach this. How to actually find these products and what i did was just scrolling the recommended products okay go and i saw this and i went wow this is really eye-catching go that's a huge problem solver i looked at adam and go gotta sell this right yeah. away so when he sent me that product i knew it was going to be a winner because you know we have that drop shipping eye when we see products we know right away if it's going to sell or not because it caught our eyes and if a product catches our eyes it's probably going to catch all the customers so you know we didn't want to be with those gurus out there that tell you about a drop shipping method they tried years ago and seeing their old results. We hate that. We hate seeing all these fake gurus out there. So we wanted to make sure that we show you real results and use our up-to-date strategies and see if this whole dropshipping yeah. thing still works. So here's the best part about this. How we keep finding these winning products is the exact same system. We just keep mm -hmm. doing over and over again. So all we honestly realistically do is, whenever you see a product pop on Facebook or Instagram, it's always gonna be a dropshipping product. If it's not, it's an actual company, you'll know the company. And all you're gonna do is just add it to cart, comment, like it, do whatever it takes to engage in that post, and you're gonna start seeing more and more of these products come to your timeline time and time again. And then you know, over time, me and Adam both agree, you see a product that is very eye-catching. Like it's very like, 
it has that it factor, it has that look to it. It solves a problem. There's none of these in Walmart, Target, or any stores. You have to go online to get this physically. There's a problem in somebody's day, and this is solving it. We don't want to have someone pay 500 bucks for a new camera, yeah. and it still protects the phone. So it, it honestly kills two birds with one stone. So the next most important thing about a product is once you find it, you have to brand it right away or someone else can steal it. People want it when they're searching through social media, seeing all these products, going to these random websites, the first thing they look now in 2020 is that this is an actual brand. You know, this isn't just some random person selling a product. They want to think this is an actual company they're getting from. So we went straight to Google Domains and found a URL that was exactly this product. So this is the honest secret that not a lot of dropshippers or people are using online in general. So when you have a product domain that's the exact same name as this iPhone case. So for example, if you're on the internet, you type in www dot waterbottle.com let's just say <laughs> and a water bottle pops up you're gonna assume it's an actual company yeah. right you're gonna assume oh they must sell a water bottle if they don't sell a water bottle i don't know what the hell i'm <laughs> on right now but yeah long story short think about this for a second if you're on facebook or instagram you see this iphone case you see a great ad that's proven to work just grabbing people's attention it protects the iphone it protects the iphone's camera the most important part and it's only 25 bucks we sell this thing for 24.99 everybody we get it for what like four dollars or something yeah. like that Three four dollars. Three four dollars. I think it's like it's like mid three dollars. And yeah. so long story short, all we do, we list it for twenty four ninety nine because if you want to list it for twenty bucks, you could have done that. But we realized people will spend twenty five dollars yeah. on an iPhone case. OtterBox sells them for sixty bucks. <laughs> There's other cases out there. You go to Cricket Wireless down the street right here. They sell them for like forty dollars. It's normal silicone iPhone mm -hmm. cases. And compared to the camera cost to repair it, you know, people will spend the twenty five dollars instead of the hundreds it's gonna cost. So you gotta remember, with a product like this, it's really offering to solve a problem or a pet peeve, right? People hate spending money on broken shit. I know you do, I know we do. It's an expense no, you never ever wanna have, it's the worst. This thing right here, this little piece of plastic for $25, I think we sold it for what, 50% yeah. off, so it was 50 bucks, originally 25. People went crazy, we sold how many thousands of these things already? Yeah, and it's literally. like, literally, just one product store. The product's the product, Easy checkout, easy process to follow them into the purchase, and the rest is history. It's that simple. It's crazy how simple this actually is because a lot of mistakes dropshippers use, you even know this, they import a ton of products. Oh my god. And then they yeah. expect one to sell and when it looks like a half ass Amazon. And it's, yeah. it'll never work. I don't know why people do it, but. They're trying to advertise collections. So they send from the ad, you get sent to a collections page with products in all different niches and they're hoping that you decide one of these products is something you need, which it never works, it failed, and any experienced dropshipper out there knows that those stores don't work. They're over. They they will never work anymore because they were big when 2016 and 17. Yeah. They were absolutely crazy. Long time ago. But people pick up on trends. You know, you gotta <laughs> keep innovating yourself. So yes, you can still sell these cheap China products. Yes, you can. This isn't really cheap, it costs like four or something bucks yeah. like that. But I know you guys do see, if you guys do go ahead and look up this case, it's gonna be a little bit more money on AliExpress. We do show you guys that we do buy in bulk, hence we got the case a lot cheaper than usual. But if you were to actually drop ship this thing, I think they'll probably list it for what, like eight or nine bucks on there. You can still sell for 25, but realistically, that's what the market's yeah. at. Always try to undercut people. If you could undercut, look up people on Facebook, and when you don't see a lot of people selling this, like when I found this, when, <laughs> how many people were selling this thing? Was there like- I don't know, maybe one or one, two? I don't think, I don't, I don't even know. think that. I think I found this yeah. the very first week it was released. Yeah, because the iPhone 11 just came out. That's why. That's why. We I searched was. the new iPhone 11 cases, too. And this thing, I was like, damn, I would do all my product research. I did all my back end stuff to mm -hmm. see if it's like been out or what's going on. I'm like, damn, brand new iPhone. People need cases for this thing. We might as well just go. There's going to be demand for them. So, and it protects the camera. It's, mm -hmm. it just kind of connects. It's a no us. brainer. You guys kind of see how when the stars line, you got yeah. there. It's timing. Dropshipping is all about timing, man. It really is. As soon as Jim finds the product, immediately we're like, okay, how many sellers? How many people are out there? Is it a new product? These kind of qualities, this is how we find consistent six-figure products. It's really, so dropshipping is really not that complicated when you know what to look for and you're following, you know, consistent, so, good so strategies. Easy. So yeah. easy. So easy. So we're going to jump in a little bit of our product journey, I guess you could say with this, because what we did, we started a brand new store. When we didn't go off our old store and just keep adding to the sales, we started a brand new store, brand new business account manager, brand new ad, whatever it is, from complete scratch. And we wanted to be 100% transparent with you about everything. So we're going to show you actual results with our stores. We're going to tell you all the problems we face and all the solutions we had to these problems and what you could use on your own store when you run into the same problems we did. 
Yep. So long story short, what we did was we got this from AliExpress, right? We're selling mm -hmm. it, we're drop shipping, just test it to see before we buy in bulk. Ignore all this, that's complete other than drop shipping. But what we were doing, we make sure that it's an actual product that is selling. So, you yeah. know, we were just racking up the sales. This thing was taken off right away. And Adam was like, dude, this thing is like really good and stuff. And I'm like, okay, so <laughs> we're gonna keep this thing going. So it kept going and going and going and going. I think we were $50 profitable day one. Like literally that's crazy results. We usually start with around $18 a day ad budget. So first day, if you're making more than $18, it's that this is gonna be a six figure product right away. And it was taken off. We were getting sale after sale. It was insane. And I was telling you, I go, I'm just, they call me the wizard, the product research yeah. wizard here. And I always, I keep stumbling upon these products and I just tell Adam, I say, run with this. Trust me, it's a, take it to the bank, it's gonna make it. And this thing, another product yeah. I found, 140 grand, man. 140 grand is from another yeah. idol case. Like, it's crazy, but it's like a trend. You just gotta know how to market it. But yeah, back to story. So when we we're getting all these orders, we completely got shut down. Yeah. Like it was like Facebook just suspended our page because we had all these people waiting three to five weeks for their iPhone case. People like the e-package shipping is guarantees two to three week delivery. And we were using that, paying extra on AliExpress. And they still were taking four to five weeks. And then we're getting all these chargebacks. Facebook reached out to us and said, you know, they're being penalized on your ads. And then after we drop below a one, it's a, on customer feedback, if you get a one out of five score, if you drop below a one, they suspend you're your down. account. And a one to two is you're in penalty. So that means that they'll, they'll charge you more for each ad and it'll reach less people. So, you know, that right there can kill your profit margin Fuck instantly. That. That Man, is... it destroyed us. And it, this wasn't like our problem. AliExpress, they tell you how long it's gonna be shipped, but you don't really know what they're gonna do. Apparently, they can do whatever they want. Cause some people would email, said it took two months and the shipping says 10 to 15 days, so. Is there, is there a 37th and yeah. 38th order that the person, his name was Jose? Yeah. Jose waited a good two months for this I'm product. sorry Jose if you're out there watching Yeah, this. and I immediately said we are done yeah. with AliExpress. So what we found out was, you know, we've been using this for a little bit, Testing products is Silk Road. It's an absolute killing app that is just going viral and Write that down. Silk Road, yeah, write that shit down. It is saving dropshippers' asses because it's guaranteeing yeah. only five to seven days shipping to the US. Guaranteed. Oh yeah, and this iPhone case right here, everyone, I know everyone tells you to scale worldwide. 98% of our orders came from America. So we realized we could sell and advertise to the US only and five to seven days shipping. I think it's only one day to process every single order. But after that, people are happy, week shipping. There's companies in America yeah. that two week shipping. Believe me, I buy closer packs than they have. <laughs> and even better about Silk Road, everyone. So we were talking about AliExpress, how the price is a little bit higher than what we get when we buy in bulk. And that's what Silk Road does. So not only will you get faster shipping, but they'll source this product out and get you the bulk price order. So then you could even get a better profit margin and faster shipping. Obviously that's a no brainer. Definitely jump on Silk Road if you haven't. I don't work for Silk Road, but I went, <laughs> fuck, that's a pretty goddamn good yeah. thing. I, I mean, it's saving everyone because now you won't get shut down. Let's, well, let's talk about this. You won't get shut down anymore. You could still drop ship. You could still make this much money. It's essentially the cure to the drop shipping bias. Yep. It's the best way I can describe it because AliExpress is done. I don't care who else is teaching drop shipping. If it's they're even mentioning AliExpress drop shipping from there, cut them off. It's over. It's done. They can't use that anymore. Oberlo, done. Forget Oberlo too. They're they use AliExpress and they they're the software with them. We used to teach, use them, but they are gone. Gone. Yeah. Silk Road all the way now. 2020 Silk Road got innovated. Yeah, that's why you know if anyone's still selling, teaching you about AliExpress, they're not up to date with their stuff because Facebook, they're not killing dropshipper space, but all they're doing is trying to take care of their customers. So if you're taking care of your customers, everyone, it's even better for you because they're gonna push your ad out more and more if people are giving you good reviews. Oh yeah. So your ads will actually cost less and reach more people instead of getting penalized and reaching less and costing more. They say, make sure you're practicing good business. And yeah. as long as you keep, you're doing the right thing, it's like the golden rule. Facebook is even like, how? We'll take care yeah. of you. We'll take care of you. You're not one of those AliExpress drop shippers, we got you. And luckily we went through all these problems so none of you have to. Anymore. Yeah, so you can learn about it before you get to shut down. But we'll show you the sales chart like right yeah. here too. It's, uh, you'll see in the middle, like right here, there's a lot missing right here. <laughs> we had a couple good days right here and a couple bad days yeah. and then it was good again because we went through all that Facebook shutdown bullshit and you know people were doing chargebacks and we were how many thousands pending in paypal i'm like 
<laughs> I was getting so mad, man. And like, but I realized we uh, just had to innovate. Let's stop doing the whole month shipping. That pisses me off. Man. Yeah, we get stressed customer. out too because when you have all these customers waiting on packages all the time, you get stressed out because you're hoping, praying to God, all these fresh ships it and gets it there. So you know. But yeah, everybody. So you know, even little products like this, this little iPhone case, can just generate crazy amounts of money. Adam knows it. We've done this time and time again. Yeah, we're going to be coming out with so many more videos helping you in how we find consistent six-figure products and consistently scale them to six figures and above. It's never going to stop, everybody. Never it's going to keep. Stop. It's going to keep going up as long as you got the wizard doing the Facebook ads, <laughs> the wizard doing the product research. The good things are going to happen. Right? <laughs> so, <laughs> so hit that subscribe button for more winning products like this, and we're going to be coming out with all kinds of dropshipping knowledge for 2020, so you can kill it. Stay tuned, everybody. Thanks for watching. And one more thing. One more thing before you go. This is like really important. Have a good day. <laughs> Have a good one, guys. <laughs>